So one thing I want to tell you guys is you cannot fake depression and anxiety, but you can fake a smile. Sometimes we have so many issues in our relationship and it's like, but this shouldn't be an issue. Like go there and find out where that person is coming from. Maybe it's something they have seen in the household. Okay? And they're carrying it along in their actual marriage or relationship. Yo, this unit is so beautiful. Even the lace looks so nice. Like, I went over with a bit of product that was on my brush. It looks really, really good. So, let's put her on. Um, so, I do believe that, you know, therapy is important. It doesn't always mean that you have an issue or you're going through something. Literally, you can go to therapy to talk about your childhood because you know trauma is like a imagine a closet right your childhood trauma is in that closet because you just decided to put it in the back of your mind because a lot of people will be like i don't need therapy like i'd be dealing with my own problem or a lot of people do not want to spend money on therapy like i'm like but mental health is so important and you guys oh she is looking great but yes, I'm like, mental health is so important and people are really not taking it seriously as they should be, you know? Because I'm like, some people complain about the finance behind it, like, you know, that's not cheap, da da da. Okay, I get it. It's not cheap to go to therapy. It is not cheap. Okay. But at the end of the day, do you really care about your mental? Like, <laughs> that's really what it boils down to. Like, do you care about your mental health? Because most likely you don't, if you're thinking financially, you know? Now, it's one thing to really not have it. Because there's some insurance that even cover that, by the way, if you guys do not know. There is some insurance that would um, cover you seeing a therapist or a counselor. And also, if you're in school, let me put you guys on game. If you're also in school, there's also some um, school that do have therapists that they can refer you to. Whether they're in school or out of school. So, I'll use my... Um, Eben Wonderless Bond Adhesive Glue and I'll spray it before I cut the lace. I'll spray it because I'm gonna take it out tonight. I'm not keeping it for a long time, so I don't gotta do all the ghost bond and then spray thing. I can just spray this and and I should be good. So, so if you are somebody that do not want to go to therapy because you think it's expensive or counseling because of the price. And, you know, if you're in school or something, even work, I know that there's some job that does offer therapy. So, just look into that, you know, get your information right, and you might be able to see a therapist without um, paying for it. So, yeah, I definitely recommend. I recommend it to literally and then everybody. Most people say I recommend it because... You know, I, I study social work, you know, and I went to school for that. I'm like, no, before I became a social worker, I went to therapy. And um, some people think going to therapy means that they have an issue. No, sometimes you just need somebody to talk to and you don't want to talk about your business or what you're going through or what you have been through to just anybody. So you go into somebody that doesn't know you who's a therapist or a counselor, and you talk to that person, you might feel relieved after that. So I tell people all the time, I say, but you going to therapy doesn't mean that, you know, you have a problem. Sometimes you already dealt with whatever issue you had because we got to be honest, right? You're not going to tell me your whole life, not like you haven't had any issue that bothered you to the point that like you had to force yourself to forget about it, right? But one thing people forget is trauma is like a closet, like I was saying earlier. It's like a closet. When you go through something, you put it in the back of your mind. So you're technically storing it in the closet. Guess what? The more you're putting things in that closet, eventually what will happen to the closet? What do you think? It will bust, right? It will bust open and all the things that you have been putting in the back of your mind will come rushing in. And those trauma will eventually shape the person you are. When whole time, that's really not who you are. It's based on your trauma that you became that person. So it's important to deal with, with our trauma. So to all my Africans, because like I said, those are the people I interact with the most, I think you guys should stop viewing therapy or counseling as a, something bad, as meaning that you have a mental problem or that you know you need help. 
Like, that's not what therapy is about. Literally, therapy or counseling is not about you having a problem or being mentally ill or anything like that. It's more like, you know, you want to deal with what you have been through, what you're going through. And that's it. Like, trauma is so real. And I feel like most people don't take it seriously. Like, when I talk to, like, a couple that have a lot of disagreement, literally the first thing that I tell them is, I think you guys should go to therapy. <laughs> like... Go to therapy, couple therapy, couple counseling, something together to see if that person can be of help, but you know, in any way, you know, by having somebody because you telling your family member eventually they're gonna be picking side. Let's say you're telling your your mother in law at the end of the day, we gotta be honest, that's her son. So Oh, that's her daughter. So she's going to eventually, you know, even if she's going to give you guys the best advice she can, at the end of the day, that's her son or that's her daughter, like I said. So they're not about to cancel the, the kid over you. Like, no. No, they probably will talk to the kid, but at the end of the day, like I said, that's the son. And sometimes, we got to be honest here, right? Sometimes <laughs> they'll pick the side of their kid, like son or daughter. Like I'm saying, like at the end of the day, your mother-in-law can give you the best advice in the world or your father-in-law can give you the best advice in the world but if push come to shove <laughs> they will not cancel the actual the kid the actual child biological child over you even if the child is wrong you know so you got to remember that or let's say you talk about your issues to your sister or somebody that you guys know mutually at the end of the day eventually the person that is helping you guys fix your issue or helping you guys talk through the issue you guys are having might want to pick side and you don't need that so yeah this unit is beautiful i love the color it's the color for me by the way this unit was 45.99 so under 50 dollars and yeah mm -hmm. she's looking good like I didn't do much to it as you guys was able to see on this video but um yeah so I normally don't keep this for a long time so I can just take it out now like I said I don't need a week to stay for a long time I'm taking it out tonight you know so let's see the melt <laughs> it melted so now it's time to cut the lace so I cannot talk and do this, so... Anyways, I'll just come back when I'm done cutting because I need to focus. <laughs> Alright you guys, now that I've cut the lace, I'll just spray a little, a little bit more so you can really lay. Okay, so I really encourage people to go to therapy. Even if it's to deal with your childhood trauma, please go to therapy. Because then... It's like you're putting stuff in the closet because you're putting it in the back of your mind. The more you do that, eventually that closet is going to bust open. And you might do something crazy and or act in a manner that you have never acted before and be shook like, I'm sorry, that's not who I am, this, that, or third. But no, you let what you've been through in the back of your mind for so long and now it's showing up in who you are now. So, a lot of people need to consider therapy for real. I just had that in my heart. I just wanted to talk about, you know, it's okay to seek help. It's okay to, and it's also okay to go to therapy because you have a problem. Like, what? Like, y'all need to know that mental health is so important. Like, and a lot of people take it so slightly. This health feels so good. It feels very good. Like... People need to know that it is okay to have a problem and admit that you have a problem and go get help. Like honestly, this topic has been weighing in my heart um, for a while now. So I was like, yeah, I got to speak about it. I got to say something. I just wanted my message to be, you know, passed across, which is therapy and counseling is very important. And please go to therapy. Sometimes you get there and you realize that there's some stuff that you say or talk about that you never will have thought bothered you. 
like when I went to therapy, quick story time, when I went to therapy, like I went there and I started talking. It was it was over some friendship situation that have happened to me. I told you guys about that before, I think on my social media, but it was about like it was a time where I lost some friends and I had to go to therapy because I was going through it. Believe it or not, I was going through it. And um I'm always very you know, bubbly, outgoing, laughing, smiling. So people did not know I was going through stuff. So only Jordan, we were just boyfriend and girlfriend at that time. So he knew, because I would tell him at times, when I was down, I would speak to him. So he knew I wasn't okay. So it got to the point that, like, yeah, I went on the dark side. Like, it was bad. So, um, yeah, I was thinking about doing crazy stuff. So I don't want to talk about it, go deep, because I'll get emotional. But, yeah, so he was like, yeah, just saying you need help. It's time that you go seek help. And then at that time, like I said, I wasn't a social worker yet. I wasn't, like, I was literally going to school. And I was a regular college student. So I ended up going to therapy. I got there. I started talking about what was bothering me, the friendship I have lost, my side of the story, things that the girls I stopped being friends with would never know that I had to get out of my heart because I'm not going to waste my time to sit down with them and talk about this again. Like, they made a decision and... That's fine. So I just needed to take it, you know, take everything out of my heart out. So after we finished talking about it, the therapist was asking me a question. We got to talk about like family stuff. Boy, 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 boy. If I tell you the type of things I started speaking about, I was like, wow. I never knew that this thing I went through when I was younger could affect me to the point that I'm going through all this friendship stuff and I'm this hurt because of issues that have happened in my past when I was younger. You know, like, people that get it, get it. Yeah, if y'all yeah, yeah understand what I'm saying. If you ever been to therapy or went to see a counselor and you guys started talking, like, you go there for one topic and next you know you find yourself talking about 10 different things that have happened to you in the past, even when you were a child, then you know what I'm talking about. So, it became a session from, I was like, I'm gonna just go there, like, one time, get this out of my chest and be done. <laughs> Tell me why I was there for a couple sessions. I was there for a couple of them. Okay. Let's see how tight this thing holds. So, tell me why I went for a couple sessions. Like, I want to do baby hair, but then again, I don't. Mm. Let me just put a bit of foundation. Because I think I, um, since I glued it right here, my foundation went away a little bit. I just add a bit of foundation right there. So, yeah. So, yeah, like, I started going to more and more sessions. And I was like, yeah, I needed this. Like, if it wasn't for that issue, I'm like, maybe God wanted me to, like, fall out with those girls. So I can realize that, yeah, I need help. And I need to talk about my past, what have happened to me, what I've been through. And, yeah. So, that was really helpful. So yeah, I really do recommend therapy to those that don't believe in it. Please think about it and um, just go there. Just go there to have a conversation and I promise you, you will not regret it. And couples, 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 married or not, I also recommend therapy. You guys can do couple therapy or couple counseling or individually then you guys do together. But yeah, I recommend that because sometimes you're in a relationship and you guys are going through so many little problems that you're like, yo, this problem can be easily fixed. But why do we have to, you know, always go through big fight to fix this little issue? Yeah, maybe it's deeper than just that little issue that you're seeing. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's what I had to tell you guys. I really like the layers on this way. She looks good, so I'm not gonna do the baby hairs. Yeah. All right, you guys, that's the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So yeah, I hope my message came across, okay? I just wanted to, you know, talk to people that do not believe in therapy or counseling. I just wanna talk to my Africans that do not believe in therapy or counseling. And yeah, I think you should check out a therapist, you know, just go for a visit or a counselor. Go for a visit and, you know, just, have a conversation with them and, you know, hopefully there's going to be things that will come up that will make you understand that, okay, I'm not here because I'm crazy. I'm not here because I have a problem. I just want to deal 
with certain things that I have been through or that I'm going through. You do not need to be extremely depressed to go in here. Like, you can go there while you're good and have a conversation. You, you will see, you will see things will unfold and you will be really, really shook. Like, very. So, yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So, let me know what you guys think. Have you ever been to therapy? Are you thinking um, of going therapy? And if you're in a relationship before you get married, uh, whether you're married or not, but before you get married, I recommend going to therapy, couple therapy. You guys can go by yourself, then go to couple therapy. Maybe that will help you guys understand each other better because sometimes we have so many issues in our relationship and it's like, but this shouldn't be an issue. Like, go there and find out where that person is coming from. Maybe it's something they have seen in the household. Okay? And they're carrying it along in their actual marriage or relationship. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Going to therapy doesn't mean that you're crazy. Nothing's wrong with you. You just need to seek professional help to deal with certain things you have been through or that you're going through. Nothing, nothing more, nothing less. So, if somebody tells you, oh, you go to therapy, you're crazy, they are the one that's crazy because they don't know that mental health is important. So, one thing I want to tell you guys is you cannot fake depression and anxiety, but you can fake a smile. So, people can walk around smiling hard as ever, looking the happiest when the whole time, deep down, they're going through some crazy things. So, yeah, for sure, for sure, check on your people, check on people around you, check out a therapist, check out a counselor, and you won't regret it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. And if you're a returning subscriber, you, you already know it's all love. Um, I love you guys so, so, so much. And yeah, you guys, don't forget to check out my social media. And the link to this beautiful unit will be in the description box down below for your convenience. And yeah, bye guys.